Welcome back to Peck Brothers Off-Road. Today, we're actually pouring the footings on the Peck Brothers headquarters. And we're going to be building shock hoops. What's this big rebar sticking out of the ground? So this ties all of our rebar that's inside of our footings to our electrical panel. So in case of lightning or anything, electricity always wants to go to the ground. And this ties it all to the footings instead of electrocutes us as working in the job. We got truck number two just showed up with the rest of the concrete so we're getting back to work This truck was moving without you in it. Yeah, there's no driver up front. We just have the have the remote drive system and it just has a joystick. Steer and drive and have the braking system. Heck yeah. Alright, so our two days to build a Jeep was Obviously a fail. I think that that was like two months ago. Yeah, we're we're two months in pretty much. We're getting closer though. I'm we're we got the corners on, which was a huge deal. Big deal. We're Those still going nice. strong. So I haven't got it running again yet since I put the new tub on, but I can't mount my battery because I need to know where my shock hoops go so I don't have to build shock hoops around a battery. I'd rather build a battery tray around the shock hoops. And obviously I got a moto built battery tray. So that's gonna be awesome. Let's go. It's about time we start bending too. So right now we put the axle at full bump and we're, we're a little close on our <laughs> steering. Stuff will self-clear. We're but not really worried We're going to deal with that later, yeah. So, so show us what we're doing here. Luckily, this piece right here is about inch and three quarter. So our piece of two inch tube will slide right over that and it'll hang out about this far. And then we'll take the top of the shock coop and go from right there. Okay, so we're going to go up over to catch the shock and then way down right and then down somewhere in this vicinity back here so i've never bent a tube in my life and tubes kind of intimidate me luckily he's here because he did his whole jeep his cage shock hoops so it's really intimidating but it's honestly super rewarding and if you take your time it's pretty hard to mess it up I'm pretty excited to see these come together. So I'm gonna have him teach you a little bit how he's doing this. So this is just a normal two inch, 120 wall piece of tubing that we bent at a 90. Right here is where we put it in the bender. So all I do is throw this in here about where I want it. And then I take and measure from that start 
in there to about where we want it to go, which is right on this tube. And then I give us a little bit extra and that's how much we put in the bender. So right here where we drew the line on the starter and we wanted about 16 inches. So we measure from that, from this point to the end of there and it's 16. So now I'll just tighten all this up and throw some air at it. So right when it starts to get tight, then I'll throw this little angle finder right on zero. Just like that. And now all we do is keep bending it and we're gonna take this one and start it around at about 75 degrees. Well, we nailed that. <laughs> we nailed this first bend. I mean, it wasn't super hard, but I think well, it fits. Uh, I just guesstimated that we'd be like 72. <laughs> just kidding. I thought we were gonna actually need more, but right there is pretty much exactly where we want that to be. Now we're gonna throw it back in the bender and get this bent down into that region. Well, how's she look? These puppies are gonna work like a charm. Oh, dude, that's looking good. That's sick. I love shot coops. Oh, me too. So we're gonna just make this come out and it'll land on top of that. Weld one in right there, land it on top of that, and mirror it for the other side. <laughs> trying to get these shock hoops done. We got the front welded up and done both sides. And I did the rear last night, finished them up this morning. I can't really weld, I kind of suck. So I'm having, having him do it. I've, I've wore my welding shorts this morning. So he had flip flops on when he came up. I didn't know that we were going to be welding today. So it's weld day. These Rear shock hoops are gonna be done. I'm so excited because the Jeep will finally be able to sit on its own. It's gonna be sick. Hey, what's that smoke that's coming off? Of that? I don't know, but it makes me feel kind of <laughs> weird. Kind of lightheaded. Well, hope it's not asbestos. Yeah, no kidding. Mesophilioma. 1-800-99-LAW-USA. <laughs> We built some shark hoops. They're finally done. They look so good. All right, let's show these fine ladies and gentlemen what we thought of. On this front one, we just threw our two inch piece of tube around this cross member on the front. And then on the back, we just went halfway up the frame and threw another piece of two inch and welded it straight to the frame. And then that's where we took our shock coops up through the engine bay and back down. Where are we gonna put the battery? That's Alex's job to figure out. I helped Come him on. with the shock hoop. It's a good thing the wires are all nice and done. Battery tray's gonna end up somewhere in there. Yeah. 
On this JK, I wanted it to sit low and have a lot of up travel. So I knew the shock was gonna have to come up through the tub. So what we did is we cut a channel out of the tub, brought the shock up through it, and then brought the hoop up through there. It's tied to the frame just like it is on the fronts. Um, and it's able to sit pretty low. So now we just gotta make a tube that connects both of them. But that might kind of be tough. Uh -huh. Once we build a cage, we're gonna tie the cage into it all. It'll be super strong, but for now, these turned out really good. I don't know how I'm gonna cover this all up. I don't know if I'm gonna make a big box and, and weld it all in. I don't know. If you have any good ideas on how to cover up this gap, let me know in the comments because me and Caleb both need a good solution for this. I haven't even showed you guys these yet. I got these from the same guy I got my wheels from out of North Carolina. He put these in his Jeep, he custom ordered them. They're suede with the carbon fiber, they're heated. They gave me a screaming deal on these and I got a matching suede PRP steering wheel. So we're pretty stoked about that. I, I think it tied the whole interior together. So when I ordered these shocks, I got them from Poly Performance. Uh, they're two five by 14 with reservoirs and DSC clickers. They got the clickers. fancy clickers on them. They're, they ain't just the normal average everyday Joe coilovers. You gotta know what you're doing to use them and I don't. No. So I might as well not have them, but it's I'll cool get under there and- cool knob on them. We're gonna look like we know what we're doing. I'm gonna not make it up an obstacle and go click them and see if that helps. Oh yeah. But they sent me with springs. They said, oh, you need this, this, and this. And I'm like, all right, cause I don't know nothing. We don't know. So I hope they're the right spring rates. When we weighed it, it was a lot lighter than we thought. But since then, I've added shock hoops, um, armor, front bumper, corners, bumper. I'm gonna have a winch. We've got a little bit more weight, but I, I really hope these springs are the right ones. Okay, so it's actually a lot taller than it is right here. I actually ratchet strapped the body down because it, it sits at about nine inches of up travel and I wanted about five. And I know it settles a little bit, but this is just, it's too tall. So I gotta call Poly Performance, get some different springs and uh, go from there. We flexed it out and it looks like everything clears. We got a ton done in this video. We got the shock coops on, they just need paint. We got the footings poured, they're drying and getting ready for foundation walls. I think uh, old 50 Shades of Grey is gonna be starting here in a minute. We named Alex's G. <laughs> we think that 50 shades of gray is pretty fitting because there's like at least nine different shades of gray right now so 50's uh, 50's close enough. 50's close enough close. we'll just call her gray but for everyone who follows you'll know the real reason if you've got buddies that you think would like watching what we're doing like seeing the jeeps and building and whatever please let them know thank you so much for watching peck brothers off-road